Inside Polo is your all-access pass into the oldest team sport in the world, where glamour, danger, money, and competition all collide head-on. There's a new player on the horizon, and they call him the Tattooed Cowboy, and he's taking you inside the world of polo. It's the sport of kings, baby. They say there are only two kinds of polo players, the ones who have been injured and the ones that are going to be. Thanks. Freaking broke my mount. Caned it right there. That, the big shot, caned it. Did you see that play when they got the first goal? I had to just about jerk Isabella's head off to avoid a wreck. They don't do anything. Malone comes in, takes the ball, goal. I'm like, what in the world? We're set. We've got catering's taken care of, drinks, and uh, Evelyn McCabe is coming. No, I do not care. I don't care how much money the lady thinks she has. She is not, especially not coming tonight when Sonny's here. Can that I talk to you about it? I need to talk to him in private. For just That's okay. You can talk. No, I really can't. I need to talk to him. The deal is that neither Todd nor Erica nor anybody else on the face of the earth, for that matter understands Evelyn McCabe any better than I do. I don't know what that other thing is that's hanging on his hip tonight. I don't know what else to say except that you know, I will be back on the team and she will be getting off his back. This lady calls me 24-7, sends me text messages all hours of the day, all hours of the night. There's no way she's coming to the party tonight without draping all over me, attacking me, and I'm gonna have another, you know, emotional girlfriend storming out the door and I'm gonna be the bad guy. I really don't know what's going on between this woman and Andy. Just because she's rich, she thinks that she can get his attention. I'm with Andy, so I think I'm more special than anybody else. Riding a polo pony is like riding a high-performance motorcycle, but weighing a thousand pounds and having a mind of its own. No, shoot, that's gonna need stitches. No, I'm gonna have to call somebody out. Hi, is uh, Dr. Garza available? He is. No, I've got a mare who's got a really bad cut. She's gonna need some stitches underneath, probably a four or five inch cut. This is Andrew Stack. Yeah, yeah, he's got the number. Okay, all right, thanks so much. All righty, bye. Today we tried a couple of horses to uh, see if they can make the trip with us to Santa Fe. You know, I, I liked both of them, but one of them I really liked quite a bit, actually. Uh, the little chestnut gelding, nice horse. One of the things I look for in a horse is, am I really going to have to stay in their mouth? What I mean by that is I don't, I don't want a horse that I'm going to have to just firm grip on that bit the entire chucker. What I want, what I'm looking for is a horse that I can be just kind of gentle with, that I can kind of glide with. You know, I don't want to be in their mouth all the time. I don't want to be pulling on those reins the whole time. I want a horse that when I ask it to, the, the phrase is stop on a dime, and, and we really mean that. There's a good analogy, one of the best analogies I've heard about polo. Uh, at least in terms of, of explaining it to the American public is football as a sport the rules are designed to create a collision alright polo the rules as a sport are designed to avoid a collision yeah I guess polo is the lifestyles of the rich and famous pretty woman Prince Charles and all that but the reality is for those of us that play the game Polo is a lifestyle. It permeates who we are and what we do. We live for the game, for the competition, the danger, the pure adrenaline rush. I'm a polo player. But before all that, I'm a horseman. And I'd give my life for any one of my horses. So take a ride with the Tattooed Cowboy inside the world of polo.